Hi, Patrick here. Have Cheetah Will View. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a beautiful Friday here in southeastern Michigan. Uh, the cheetah is downstairs solaring. And uh, I went and got a little haircut. Looking human again. Um, and after that, uh, I decided to do a little shopping. They, I heard that uh, 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 Tony Loves Horror, that... Um, that they did another little wave at the Dollar Tree. And so um, I went over to my store and while I didn't get the, the mass haul that Tony did, uh, I did get a little something, a couple of movies I, were, I was looking for. So I was able to get them. So I was pretty happy with that considering uh, how small the haul was. Um, I might venture out again tomorrow to see if there's uh to another store uh i'm not sure when the new store that i talked about in my last library hall is going to open up but it is going to open up uh we got a, a new store that big 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 dollar tree store uh that's opening up pretty soon and it's only right down the street from me so i mean i got like there's gonna be two dollar tree stores within three miles of each other I have a feeling my store that I go to now, I have a feeling it's going to close. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that they're going to, they're going to, you know, well, it's either that store or the other store. And I, I think it'll probably be my store. Uh, well, okay. So I'll show you what I got. It's really small, not too much, but we'll see. Uh, so I got four D, uh, four Blu-rays and two DVDs. So I'll do the, the Blu-rays first. Um, of course, this is mostly all uh, Echo Bridge stuff. Uh, no biggie, but uh, so this is what I got. First off, I got The Redeemed. This looks like an action type movie, so it's a little bit of a mob movie. Stars Joe Estevez, one of the one of the Sheen brothers. So, um, not, nothing to and Matt McCoy from the uh, Matt McCoy who did uh, Police Academy. And um, abominable, he's in this as well. I I have no expectations for this for dollar twenty five, uh, if it's good or not. You probably end up seeing it uh, on the uh, Dollar Tree Theater uh, voting list sooner than later. Uh, next is another movie called Broken Halos. Now I'm not sure if this is an action movie, if it's a faith based movie. I don't know. It's I, it's a little unsure right now. I mean, you can't really tell on the back of it, but um, it could be, it could be, it could be a, a, a faith-based, and it might not. I I don't think I've seen any faith-based movies at the Dollar Tree, so to see one there now, probably low odds. Uh, next up is a movie called uh, Everfall. I have no expectations about that. I do like the back of it, though. The back the back cover is pretty wicked. I like that. Uh, this movie stars Jessica McLeod, Joe Perry, and Colm Fiore. I remember, I know who Colm Fiore is. He was in the Rid Riddick movies. So, and he's, he's a pretty sturdy uh, uh, presence. He's been in a lot of movies. So, uh, I don't have no expectations of this, so... Uh, next up is a, uh, this is from the BBC, it's called Gunpowder, it's a miniseries based on, uh, uh, Guy Fawkes, this is the man behind that, uh, uh Robert, uh, Catsby, so he's the one that started it, and, um, we'll see him interact with, uh, uh, Guy Fawkes in this, uh, this is three hours, and it stars Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones, um, and Peter Mullen, uh, Mark Gaddis, and Liv, uh, Liv Taylor from Lord of the Rings and The Ledge and Wilding. So, uh, I noticed one thing too, that the, uh, slip covers seem to be, uh, pretty st stuck. Uh, I, I have a feeling there's, they're sticking them in there now to stop people from taking them. I and uh, I, I saw someone mention on one of their hauls recently, speaking of slipcovers, uh, they mentioned they went to Tar... Uh, to, uh, they went over to uh, 
Walmart, and they said that there was Batman on sale, the whole complete Batman series, for forty dollars. Actually, that's actually a pretty outstanding price. Actually, uh, forty uh, for thirty nine dollars, you get the whole Batman sixty six set. Well, they had one set right there, and then she says, "Well, look around. Just follow me." She walked around the corner and on the end cap, there was the same series. $44. Well, what's the difference? Was it DVD? Was it a Blu-ray? Was it a 4K? You know, did, you know, was it just one just bare bones beating potatoes? No. $5 more because one had a slip cover and one didn't. <laughs> so, uh, for, for an industry that keeps on trying to say that, you know, we're not making any money off this. We're going to go ahead and start... Uh, you know, we're going to wind it down, you know, as far as physical media goes. Wow. They certainly uh, they certainly decided to get their last hurrah out by starting recognizing people love to collect movies with slipcovers. And now they're going to start charging you for that. So be aware of that at your stores. Uh, if you see a movie you're looking to buy and you see two different prices, notice that the slipcover is odd. And one, one, have a, one will have a slipcover and one will not. So this is Gunpowder. This is a, a, a mini series from the BBC. All right. So that's my that's my Blu-rays, uh, and I I got two D I got two DVDs, and um, so one I was looking for, <laughs> one I was looking for because I heard it's just absolutely terrible, um, but I wanted to get it for Dollar Tree Theater, and so I did, and I was happy to find it. Uh, oh, both of these are shutters, by the way. Um, so I found. The Barge People. <laughs> I have heard this movie is so goofy. I, I, I've heard that. I've, I've, I, that. You can see the mask on there. The makeup's not that good. Uh, I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot of people have a heyday with this movie. So um, yeah, I had to pick it up. So it is a shutter. This is a shutter movie. All right. So I got the Barge People, and next. This one I wanted to see, and uh, it's a dark comedy, and uh, it is um, Spree. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm not really sure what to take of it. Uh, I read about it, and it, it looks... I don't know if it's satirical. I'm not sure if it's a parody. I'm not sure, you know, it's a dark comedy. I'm just... Social commentary? I don't know. Um, it's an interesting sounding movie, though. So, I, I was actually hoping to find this. This is also a Shutter exclusive as well. So, um, glad to get that. And, and look, I got mine for $1.25 with the slipcover. Alright, so that's really it. All I had for uh, for uh, for Dollar Tree. Uh, like I said, I might go out tomorrow. Uh, all right, just a couple of programming notes, too. A couple of programming notes. Um, again, um, May 1st uh, and May 8th, our buddy Al Lucard is on vacation. So on May 1st, me and Echo Zero will be going up on the Midnight Society on Sunday, May 1st at 9 p.m. And we will be talking about uh, Jet Li's Fist uh, Legend. Uh, we'll be covering that film. Uh, we'll be talking about Fist of Fury, which is uh, Jet Li's homage uh, when he made uh, Fist of Legend. That was his homage to Bruce Lee in that movie. And then on May 8th, May 8th, um, well, here's here's what we're doing on May 8th. The ISC Midnight Nights are coming to the Midnight Society. That's right. Uh, we're coming over and we're taking it over. Uh, so we hope that you'll join uh Oh, oh, yeah, there is one A24 guy there, too. Uh, so we hope that you'll join uh, uh, myself, uh, Ben from Cadaver Club, um, and uh, Mary Wilson. Along with, this is the first time I had either of these gentlemen on a live stream that I've hosted, and I'm really happy to have them on here. I'm super psyched. This will be my first time live streaming with Mike, also known as an American Werewolf in New Jersey. And this will also be my first time live streaming with Mont the Horror Miser Monty G, and he is a A24 fan. So this will be uh, this will be right in his wheelhouse. I'm sure he'll be very excited uh, to talk about Saint Maud. Um, this is a movie I'm excited for too, actually, very much so. 
I've really been wanting to see this movie, and uh, uh, you know what? Perfect time to do it. Uh, so we will be looking at Fist of Legend on May 1st and St. Maud on on uh, uh, the on the 8th. And the re then the regular ISC nights will be back on May 29th to talk to watch and talk about the Nightingale. Uh, Jennifer Kent's second movie after she did uh, the Babadook. So those are some programming notes for you. Uh, both uh, both banners are going to be are will be going up on my channel so you can see where, when they're coming. Uh, you know, upcoming live streams or whatnot. So hit the reminder button. Hit the reminder button so you know to, uh, to be here. Um, yep. All right, kids. That's it for us. Uh, the cheetah wants to go watch the barge people. Lord help us. All right. We'll talk at you soon. Peace.